The guy was actually groping you? Totally freaked me out. And he says he was sleepwalking? Hmm. Typical. Do you hear that? No. no, nothing. Exactly. It's the sound of nothing going wrong. For the first time since we started the night shift, there have been no screw-ups. No one's trice went missing, no one's drugs went missing, and nothing blew up. You know, if the worst thing that happened to us today was that I got groped, we're way ahead of the game. The night is still young, ladies. You know, we're still investigating the circumstances behind Mrs. Storch's mysterious death. We'll need to question each of you, individually. Why? I would think that's obvious. What? Don't look at me. You're the one acting all defensive. You still blame me because you saw me going to Mrs. Storch's room that night. I just don't want anything jeopardizing our chances of graduating from the nursing program. Or well, maybe you just want to improve your own chances by eliminating me. I suppose you think I'm guilty too. <laughs> Nobody said anything about anybody being guilty. Nobody had to. A little touchy for someone so innocent. Last time I tried that, I jammed my toe and went for a week. I told everyone it was a soccer injury. You can leave me alone if you're driving. What I'd rather is not to have to constantly defend myself just because I'm different. That's not your use of those pretty eyes, Leo. That'd be nice. I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> I might be the best ears you're going to get. I have to graduate from this nursing program. What makes you think you won't? I've just worked so hard. My parents, everyone is counting on me. From what I can tell, you're a fine nurse. It's not enough. Growing up, I, I knew I had to be successful. My parents lost everything in the revolution in Iran before I was born. They fled to London penniless. I studied hard, finally earned a scholarship. The nursing program here is just the beginning for me. Julian, my doctor. I requested a cute one. Oh. And you would be? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Georgie Jones, Maxie's okay. sister. All right. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Absolutely. So I have some more test results for you. Could you and I please have a word outside? Well, I'm, I'm guessing you both want to know how Maxie's doing. Well, her set to see has progressed. It's now affecting her heart. What can you do about it? We'll be trying several different antibiotics. We're keeping her on an elevated IV dose, keeping her in a controlled environment. And if that doesn't work? Something will work. Something will work. Everything's gonna be fine. For you or Jared. As soon as you're getting consciousness. You're in the hospital? There was an accident. Mom. Dad. Sweetheart, we're right here. We run around like silver. I try to stay invisible. So I don't go.
never should have doubted you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I told you I couldn't help myself. I think I would have done this to myself on purpose. No, sweetie, of course not. Oh, poor baby. I am uh, <clears throat> referring you to the Henderson Sleep Clinic. They've had a lot of a lot of success with sleepwalking disorder. Oh, thank you, doctor. Yeah, thanks, doc, for everything. No problem. Listen, uh, good luck to you both. Dr. Lee, you and the General Hospital are being sued for sexual harassment. Uh, what? Found it necessary to terminate one of the orderlies, Pablo Garcia. He's claiming it's a personal vendetta by you. That's ridiculous. You know this man? Yes. Well, of course I know him. How well, but... Look, I resent this he entire alleges. line of that you've made repeated sexual advances, which he's unequivocally rebuffed. He's lying. He's the one who's been coming on to me. Did you sleep with him or not? Things are bad enough around here without doctors having sexual relations with orderlies. You may have single-handedly delivered us to the Asian home. earlier on the roof. I uh, got Paige to pitch in with the accident victims. Oh, okay. Well, maybe later? Maybe. You know, it's close to Stacy's due date. I, I haven't heard from her. Maybe I should give her a call. Well, I'm sure she's fine. Meaning you think that I'm overreacting? Meaning I'm sure she's fine, Robert. Well, you've been fighting with us before you stormed out. Jumped in your car and drove off. And yeah, we didn't worry about it at first because, well, it happened so often. Then we got the call to come down here. I, I was driving. Yeah. You hit a tree. And the paramedics rushed you to the hospital. And at first you didn't want to see us. You were upset when we tried to notify your parents. Why? I remember being angry a lot. I'm sorry. Stefano? Seems quite lucid to me. Is there any chance he'll stay this way? Jared suffered a close head injury. In cases like this, it's not unusual to see personality changes. There are new drug therapies. No, no, no. So if anything good's come of this, instead our son's been returned to us the way he's meant to be. If he's in no further danger, we just assume we well enough alone. Maxie, what are you doing? I'm going crazy, cooped up in that room, waiting for someone to tell me I'm dying. I'm going home. No, you're not. You heard the doctor. You can't leave. I don't care, Georgie. I want to get out of here. Maxie, look at me. I'm gonna take you back to your room. Georgie, no, I'm Maxie. Come here. Maxie? Oh my god, somebody please help me, please. Call Dr. Julian. Please help me, please. I'll uh, send Dr. Julian immediately. Thank you. Should have left me alone. Really? And then what, Maxie? What? Are you really that determined to kill yourself? Is that what you want? No, Georgie. Fine. Do you want to die? Go ahead. Die.